I'm seeing things in my head like little sparks firing off and it's not until the very last moment that those sparks tell me what, what on earth they mean. Daniel Tammet claims that since he was four years old, he's been able to do huge calculations in his head. So in August 2002, we dropped by, armed with a calculator. Um, and you can't see this calculator that I've got here, can you? Um, we first asked Daniel to multiply 37 by itself, four times. Okay. 37 to the power of 4. Um, one. One million. Yeah. Eight hundred and seventy four thousand one hundred and sixty one. Amazing. Just to make sure that people say, well, perhaps you just know a few of these off by heart. Okay. Let me just choose another one. Next, we asked him to divide 13 by 97. Law point one three four zero two zero six. That's as far as my calculator goes. Brilliant. One eight five. Five, six, seven. Uh, You're carrying on. I'm carrying on. Do you want me to stop or? How many points can you do it to? A hundred. Nearly a hundred. At this point, we borrowed a computer that gave us the answer to 32 decimal places. Okay. No point. One, three, four, zero, two, zero, six, one, eight, five. Five, six, seven. As he went on, every single number was correct. And he even surpassed the computer. Four, six, three, nine, one, seven, five, two, five. As you've reached the end of the computer, it's all a hundred. There's no doubt that abilities like Daniel's are extremely rare. World authority on savants, Dr. Darrell Treffert, has spent a lifetime studying the Rain Man phenomenon and is in no doubt where to rank Daniel. My estimate is there are probably fewer than 50 such people living worldwide. I think Daniel's ability is at a prodigious level because it would be spectacular if that were to be seen in any of us, it would be spectacular. Equally though, Daniel has been blessed with almost miraculous good fortune. The line between profound talent and profound disability seems really a surprisingly thin one. The way Daniel can describe his inner world is giving scientists a window into the brain that they've never had. But the truth is, their journey of exploration is only just beginning. The bigger question is whether we all have some of those abilities within us, and that is what I refer to as the little rain man within each of us. What I do, it isn't, I don't think it's supernatural, I don't think it's something that can't be explained. Who knows, there may be abilities here that everyone can perhaps tap into in some way. Savant Syndrome is challenging us to think in new ways about intelligence and what intelligence is.